Without community partnership, there can't be community. Uh, there can be a lot of people going off in different tangents, trying to do different things, uh, but in isolation, there's no strength. Nate Tepperman arrived in Canada from Russia in 1920 and through drive and entrepreneurial spirit overcame the many difficulties of immigration to start a family, a business, and a legacy. I think it's a great success story in terms of someone coming from a different country with nothing, uh, not knowing the language, and not just building up a business for the sake of building up a business, but doing it the right way, um, taking care of their employees, the community, and building something that's really sustainable. Nate's son Bill married and eventually took over the business. He and wife Rochelle had three sons, Jonathan, Andrew, and Noah, and continued the commitment to community that was a hallmark of their families and now of the booming company. Our values are the values that we learned in our individual homes. Our homes were very, very different, but those values were modeled by our parents. The Teppermans instilled these values into their children through example, displaying each day the community involvement and care for others that they held so dear. We wanted them to grow up to be good human beings. We wanted them to be nice people. We wanted them to be good parents. We wanted them to be good citizens, but we never told them what they should be. Uh, they had to learn it. They had to want it. And they have wanted it, and they have learned it, and they certainly are modestly wonderful human beings. Their son Jonathan is married to Alexis and is a successful author and consultant in New York. Sons Andrew and his wife Tina and Noah and his wife Julie live here in Windsor, with Andrew and Noah looking over the expanding company. Together the family continues to give back to the community. You know, we are all engaged in things that are particularly meaningful or important to us as individuals, you know, from, from a family perspective. The Tepperman Community Strategy places a priority on children, health care, and education. More than simply supporting initiatives, the family frequently assumes leadership roles, spearheading development and organizing local support. But it's working with another group of people to say, you know, let's start developing a vision for what this community really could be, figure out what our roles are in making that happen, and then work with every part of the community, government, private business, public sector, to make that happen. Well, I think it goes back to my grandfather where, you know, he came to the country with nothing and he felt the responsibility to always give back to, in his case, it was just Windsor. We hadn't expanded to any other locations at that point. Under the family's guidance, a number of local programs have been established, including the Tepperman Scholarship Program, which has invested over $650,000 in local students. Their ongoing efforts to assist newcomers to Windsor come as a result of their hope for the city as an inviting and hospitable place for families to flourish. We grew up in a Windsor that was very, very white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Oh my goodness, it, it really was. No exaggeration. It, it is not recognizable from the community that we live in today. And I think that people who haven't had that experience and don't have that memory, I think they'd be hard pressed to imagine the Windsor that we grew up in. It was not welcoming. It was not open to people who looked different or who spoke other languages or who came from other places. So we have moved mountains in Windsor to become this very, very welcoming, diverse community. And it's so much better. It's so much better.
And Windsor is special actually when it comes to um, the engagement, community engagement that we have here. And when I look back um, over the decades and even before, um, you, you know, the last generation or two, there's been so many incredible people that have strengthened Windsor. And what I love about it too is I see what's happening today and I feel really good about the future here. Many different legacies could be written for the Tepperman family, including immigration, work ethic, commerce, education, or community service. The family have separately and collectively been honored and acknowledged for each of these qualities. I think the legacy of Tepperman's is one of pride and respect and community and really more than anything, family. A lot of people can run a business. Um, hopefully we're doing the right thing in terms of how we're running the business and not just focused on the business, but focused on a bigger picture of our people here, of, of the community, of the environment. And, uh, and um, I hope that the fourth generation will be able to experience some of this as well. Perhaps appropriately, the Tepperman family and the Right Honorable Herb Gray have a personal history as well, which spans back to Bill's childhood here in Windsor. My dad and his dad had stores on Ottawa Street. They were both Russian immigrants. They were both Jewish Russian immigrants. They were friends. Herb and his brother were a little bit older than I was, but we became friends. Herb became interested in politics. Bill became interested in politics. Herb wanted to do the right thing for the community. Bill wanted to do the right thing for the community. Herb thought he knew the right way. Bill thought he knew the right way. Bill ran against Herb as the first new Democratic candidate that he had to run against in 1962. Herb won, I won Rochelle. Neither one of us ever looked back. Tonight, the Multicultural Council of Windsor and Essex County is extremely honored to recognize the outstanding contributions made to building a welcoming community. Presenting the 2019 Harmony Award winners, the Tepperman family.